Well, hey there, everyone. I don't know why I'm sideways on here, so I have to figure this out. <laughs> nope, that's not helpful. There we go. Okay. So welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Wizard Way. My name is Chris. Uh, doing a quick live stream just of some Hogwarts mystery gameplay, a little bit of Wizards Unite news. It's just an informal live stream, and I've got a few notes to help us along the way, but we're just going to have a little bit of fun. And uh, as you can see, I'm using a different recorder. Hopefully this one works better than the last one, because the last one that I did while I was sick was a bit of a hot mess. The replay was fine, but the actual live stream seemed a little bit off. So here's hoping this one's a little bit better. Bear with me. Let me know during chat if you're in the chat. Let me know if anything's wrong, and I will do my best to fix it. But another test stream just to have a little bit of fun. So today there are a few things that are going on currently in Hogwarts Mystery. Um, right now there is a flying solo limited time side quest. Um, there were some snafus with this one. It didn't roll out to everybody like it should have. And so uh, I believe that Jam City extended it because I haven't played this game in a couple weeks. Maybe one week, week and a half. Just haven't had the time. Um, but when I picked it up, I did have the actual flying solo side quest that I could do, even though I knew I had already missed the time window that it was supposed to be out for. So it's a little different. Um, they did extend the time period. I, as you can see there, I've got two and a half days at this point to complete it. And I'm on the second part of the tasks over here. I'm on part two and uh, task four of four. So we are consulting with McGonagall and uh, I did start this task earlier today, <laughs> but I thought that I would, you know, pull it up on the live stream simply because I love McGonagall and her room at the moment is full of cats. And for those who know me, I have 13 cats in my house, and that's a lot. <laughs> Admittedly, that is a lot. But uh, I love my cats, and I love McGonagall because she's got a lot of cats. So can we just appreciate? Can we appreciate the sheer number of cats that are currently in this room? Let's see, we've got uh, the white ones, so that's one. Up on the desk is two, three, four. Uh, the small desk here is five, six. And I could have sworn there was a seventh one when I first started this task. And as you can see, I'm almost done with it, but look at all the kitties! So this, in a way, is a great segue into Wizards Unite news. So about a week, a little bit over a week ago, we got a Wizards Unite update that was a teaser trailer. And the teaser trailer basically involved uh, two little smushed-faced Persian kittens playing with uh, two golden snitches that were buzzing around them. And the lady who was behind them, you know, taking the video, she was basically speaking Chinese, some sort of dialect of Chinese. I admittedly don't know Chinese. Um, for anybody who wanted to see my reaction to that, I will, on the replay, put a link up there to my, uh, my little reaction video to the teaser because I interrogated my cats in three languages, English, Korean, and Japanese. Uh, if anyone wants to see that, I did make a subtitle track to it, so you can turn your subtitles or closed captions on and then go check out that video. I was being silly. I was up late editing that video, like, literally all night when I posted it. So it's a little bit silly, but what else are you going to expect from my channel? But I do love me some kitties, and uh, everyone was then speculating, what does it mean? Does it mean that, you know, that these Asian countries are going to get another uh, beta release, or wh what does it mean? Um, there are a couple numbers in the teaser, but it's really just that it's Trace 146, and there's speculation, does that mean that the game is coming out on 614, or I don't know. Nobody really knows at this point. But, uh, as I finish this up, let's actually tap something, shall we? I probably have just enough energy to finish this. What do we got? Oh, that'll give me a free energy, so let's do McGonagall here. I love McGonagall so much. Look at all those cats! 
the point of this side quest, by the way, is um, basically that uh, Mr. Winger, uh, named Talbot, Talbot is uh, going through some stuff and he's been isolating himself and as a concerned friend we are trying to figure out what is up. But uh, as we were talking to him, Marilla was under a concealment charm and overheard our conversation with him and basically found out that he's an unregistered animagus. So there was a little bit of drama. We confronted Marilla about it. And uh, she was like, I won't tell anyone, but maybe I will. So we went to Professor Flitwick and learned how to obliviate people. And when push came to shove, I chose to not have my character obliviate Marilla. I felt like that was kind of shady and probably not the best idea. So I chose to not obliviate Marilla. And uh, it turned out okay. Talbot didn't really want to obliviate her either because the spell is pretty dangerous. And uh, Marilla did admit that even though she doesn't really care for him or really anybody else, she wouldn't have actually, you know, turned him in and had him sent to Azkaban because her parents are there. And ultimately, she wouldn't wish that on her worst enemy. She even said, I wouldn't even wish that on Geminox, my character, Wizard Way. Um, so that's kind of saying something that she wouldn't even wish it on her worst enemy. So, you know, little silver lining. We, we didn't do anything mean to Marilla. I really, really want to be able to romance her someday, someday in this game. People keep hinting that we're going to get romance in this game. And uh, I'm just at that point where I'm like, nope, zero expectations. I can't trust them to follow through on anything. So I'll just take what they give and run with it. Alrighty, so uh, that did bring us to trying to figure out what's going on with Talbot sort of behind the scenes, and that brought us to McGonagall because that's his favorite professor at the school. So we've been chatting with McGonagall, trying to figure out what's going on. She mentioned something about this necklace, so here we go. Um, Talbot came to you and asked if you'd seen a necklace of his right before he stopped coming to class. Uh, yes, one with a white feather. He was upset, so I imagine it had sentimental value. Look at all the cats, oh my god. I'm sorry, I just... The kitties, though! Ah, there's so many! I, I just, I love cats way too much. I'm having too much fun. This, this makes me happy. <laughs> Look at the little, little tiger one just chilling. Chilling on the desk. I love it. Okay. Uh, you think he's acting this way because he lost that ne lost that necklace? <laughs> and you can see I even have a, I have a sweater on that has a kitten on it. It was one of the, uh, I think, House Pride event winning outfits. I didn't really care whether my team won or not. I've gotten to that point with this game where I don't care if Slytherin wins. And that's really, really sad. But I got, you know, a umbrage teacup. <laughs> tea saucer talking cat sweater. It's very strange, but I'll take it. I do love cats. Okay, McGonagall says, not entirely, no. He looked upset even before it happened, but I'm sure it didn't help. Uh, straw that broke the camel's back, huh? I have my suspicions about why that is, but I'll keep those to myself. She doesn't want to infringe on Talbot's privacy as much as possible, but she is concerned about the guy. So, let's see. If I help Talbot find this necklace, he'll tell me what's been bothering him? Don't hold your breath, girl. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to ask Mr. Winger about that. And she says, I think I will. I don't want to leave the kitties. Look at all the gorgeous kitties, though. I always did wonder, like, what happens in the Transfiguration classroom when all these cats are not being utilized for class? And, you know, like, animal cruelty and stuff. Does it hurt when you transfigure a cat into a cauldron? You know, mice into matchboxes? Owls into spectacles? Like, I think that it it shouldn't be painful, because otherwise I'm, I've got an issue with it. <sighs> but I do love cats. How many times am I, gonna, am I gonna say that in this stream? <laughs> One last thing, Miss Geminox. If you do see Mr. Winger, please let him know we've been missing him in class. Apparently he's really good with transfiguration, which is no surprise for someone who's an animagus. 
Look at that white kitty just walking around. So pudgy. I love cats. And I'll be sure. I'll be sure to let him know when I ask him about the necklace. Yay! Part two done. Let's see what is in store for part three. Okay, flying solo part three. You help Talbot search for his missing necklace, learning more about him and growing closer along the way. Now, during previous parts, worth mentioning, uh, you had a couple opportunities when you were testing out Obliviate on Talbot. Um, you were supposed to tell him a secret and then Obliviate it from him. And uh, you did have the option of clicking, I fancy you. And then later when you're talking to Penny, who is the one who brought up that he's been missing and acting off, um, when we're chatting with her as well, you have the opportunity to tell her that you told him that you fancied him before obliviating it from him. So I chose to do that just for the heck of it. My character is equal opportunity. I don't see any of these things actually having consequences. I said that I fancied Penny before. I have taken steps to fancy Marilla, and now I'm fancying Talbot too. Why not? I'm casting a broad net, okay? We'll see if any of this has anything to do with plot later on. Chances are not. But I I like just, you know, my, my character is what? What are we? Year four now? Year four? So 14 years old? Yeah, that's when hormones are starting. So it's reasonable that she's got numerous crushes. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's the direction I took it, but there is an option for you to fancy this guy and uh, see where it leads, right? The ultimate prize for winning this, uh, for doing all of the tasks for this particular thing, is that you will gain Talbot as a friendship option, you know, down in your friendship tab down here. All the way at the end, you do have the potential opportunity of befriending him. Now, I don't know if everyone will simply befriend him eventually because he is down here in the menu. It's not, you know, I have no idea if he gets unlocked during normal gameplay or if it's just through this side quest that you can do it. So I think that's probably another reason why they are letting people have extra time to complete these tasks because uh, people were having their game short out and people really like this character. And so... I'm happy to see that they gave us a little extra time. It means that I get to try it too, because I have not been playing the game lately. Alrighty. Uh, at the moment, I don't have very much energy, only five points of energy, so there's not too much I'd be able to do, but there are a couple other things in the game right now that could be fun to mess with. So let's go down to the dungeons, and all the way over to Dueling Club. So Dueling Club has changed in this game, if you have not been playing for a while. Um, Dueling Club is now a constant that you can play in the game. It's not just a limited time thing. There's really no pressure. You have uh, not necessarily one chance, but you can duel until you win once, and then after you win, you have a six hour cooldown, I believe. So um, I, and as you win, you rank up and you win mystery items. So at this point, I have one more win, which I will take care of now, and then I'll get some sort of mystery item. Um, duels now cost coins instead of having tickets to worry about, tickets that have cooldowns. No more of that, thank goodness. So now we can simply duel, which for anyone who has watched my live streams before, dueling is not my forte, so we'll see how well I do. How many times it takes for me to actually win a duel here. I might get lucky, I might get terribly unlucky. We shall see. Oh, draw. Draw on the sneaky move. Uh, let's try... Let's try sneaky again. Yeah! Okay. We shall do flippendo. Woo! And a uh, quick apology if anybody hears stuff going on behind me. Um, I don't have my, my microphone in my phone because I want you guys to be able to hear the game. But uh, if there's noise outside my door, it's either my cats or my roommates. Um, everybody has Saturday off. So if there's noise, that's why. And I apologize. But hopefully the game volume will take care of that. All right, so sneaky work. Shall we change to aggressive? Let's try aggressive. Oh, tied. Well, doubling up worked with Sneaky, so let's try it. Ah, darn it. 
Ooh, and she did an offensive spell for the defense turn. Okay. Ooh, and I'm burning. Ow. Ooh, that hurts. That really hurts. Oh, dear. These things are always so un unpredictable for me. I'm really not good at dueling. Uh, Kai bai bo. Got lucky. Okay. Say, I always go for the ones that have the, the large reduction in opponent stamina. I'd rather hit them hard than have to hit them multiple times over and over again and deal with the whole chance of stun, chance of burning. I'd much prefer to just get it over with. Large reduction, no altered status, get her done. Got lucky again. Wow. I'm actually gonna win. Yay! Let's do Depulso and just finish her. Mortal Kombat style finisher. Kapow. The dipple so. She should have been knocked back. <laughs> okay, so when you win, you get a couple rewards. It's uh, really just one energy point that you get. But again, as you get more wins, you unlock prizes. What did we win? I want to see what we won. What did we win? Oh, oh, it scrolls through. Sweet! I'll take some gems. Awesome. Gems are not easy to come by in this game unless you're playing a lot. Cool. I'll take that. Oh, and, and that's also a nice thing to note, that after the nine wins, because that was the first time I had done the nine wins, I think the first one was only three wins that you needed to unlock something, so apparently it just reset at nine. So uh, you guys will have to correct me in chat if you happen to be watching or if you're watching the replay. Um... Is it always nine? Does it ever upgrade to being more wins that you need, or does it stick at nine? Because nine is a pretty good number. And since you have a certain cooldown, I, f I believe it's six hours, um, I guess because we got a reward, it reset it, and now we can duel again, so we might as well. But uh, I believe the cooldown is six hours, which means that you can, you know, technically get four duels done a day. Um, highly doubt people will do that, but... You never know. Ouch. Ooh, aggressive moves hurt. Am I stunned? Am I burning? Nothing. Thank goodness. <laughs> this person's being pretty aggressive. But are they going to switch it up on me? There's no way of knowing. This is what's so infuriating about it to me. Okay, um, let's try aggressive. Okay, tit for tat. We got it. Depulso. Oh, I should have my, I should have my wand out, huh? Depulso. <laughs> it's a big chunk of health. As you can see, my, my attributes over here are pretty good. I haven't been hitting them as hardcore as I used to, so I'm still at just 26, 26, 25. But it means I do typically have a pretty good advantage with the others here in uh, Dueling Club. Let's try aggressive again. Yeah. Spamming aggressive does not always work. I know that's some people's tactic, but for me, it actually doesn't work that often. All right, here we go again with Dipulso. Ow. Two hit KO. That's what I like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, six hour cooldown then. So you can either use gems, which I highly dissuade you from doing, or you can wait six hours and then try again. But basically, even if you lose a duel, I got really lucky today. If you lose a duel, you can immediately try to duel again. It just costs you coins. So this is a way to use, you know, the 25,000 plus coins that you have <laughs> in the game in order to, you know, actually spend them. Because you get to a certain point where you've bought everything that's in the shop. Everything that can actually be bought with coins. So... This way is nice. I appreciate that there's something we can do now with our extra coins. Let's see. What's next on my list? Um, I can do friendship activities. I was trying to hold out doing those because I wanted to do them with Talbot, but it, it seems that that's going to take me probably another day to finish all of that. So let's hit some of those. Maybe I'll be able to level somebody up and get some extra... Oops, I meant to do the lower floor there. Maybe I'll be able to get some extra energy out of it. I try to time these things during events 
so that I will level somebody up during the event and get extra energy out of it. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to reach 600. It's going to be close. I probably won't reach 600, hey. though. But Barnaby's sweet. He's sweet and daft, and we like him. All right, it's a creature quiz. Who specializes in dragons? It's a dragonologist. Now, Dragon's Master sounds awesome. Like, archaically awesome. A dragonometrist would be someone who measures dragons, which, you know, could be a profession, but dragonologist is correct. Good stuff. Gosh, my bonus is going to push me up fast. Let's try some tougher questions. Bring it. Bring it, Barnaby. Which creature is from Africa? There are two answers to this one. It's either the phoenix or the fooper. Foopers are... They look like owls, like really fluffy owls. But basically their screeches, much like mandrakes, their screeches are pretty fatal. So uh, earmuffs or using some, uh, some dampening spells like muffliato. Gotta be careful, but I'm gonna choose fooper. It's the less obvious answer. Because <laughs> I think that from those choices, you could pretty much ascertain that phoenixes are from Africa, too. And take a lot to drag me away from you. I do know my creatures. Not as well as some. I, I wouldn't test my knowledge against uh, Prof. Lynette from Wizard PhD. Lynette knows so much about Fantastic Beasts. I believe she did, like, an entire series of videos on, like, the various native beasties from different continents. Like, girl knows her beasts. That ain't me. All right. Should I have just one more question? Which creature can speak? A Jarvie can speak and also an Acromantula. The reason I know these things is because I've taken this quiz a few times. <laughs> I'm not that smart. <laughs> now, if someone asks me potion stuff, I might be okay. I tend to retain my knowledge pretty well with potions, but not so much with mag mag magizoology. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. See, I think I get 50 for the other two, so we're going to be just shy of 600. Still worth it, though. It just means I'll be able to claim the extra energy next time. So let's go down. Oh, wait. Same same place. Womp womp. Over to the courtyard. All right. Back down to Barnaby. 200 coins hey. for this one. It's another way to spend your coins is doing the friendship exercises, but it doesn't take that many coins. I will say I hate that we win gobstones by tricking our opponents rather than just being good at gobstones. I, I wish that there was some mechanic in the game where we could actually play the game so it would be skill-based rather than let's trick them into, into stinking so that we win. I think that's kind of low. But we basically say outrageous things and he's like, what? Are, d d do you mean it? And they never react. <laughs> the little BB over there, the N NCP, doesn't really react. NP NPC, my bad. The NPC doesn't really react to whatever we tell them. You're doing great, Barnaby. I'm gonna mess you up. He's just like, let's join the, join the Gobstones Club. I'm like, we founded the Gobstones Club. And he's like, So we win. And mean. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, I'm a Slytherin, so I should not be surprised. But no matter who you are in the game, no matter what house you're in, you do this stuff. And it just it rubs me wrong a little. But what else is new? I mean, we tend to not really have much of a choice with our character. Like misbehaving and being mean to people. And it's supposed to be my Hogwarts adventure. Mine. Okay, let's see. Hogsmeade, I believe, right? Butterbeer. Okay, having some butterbeer with Barnaby. He's just following us around all day. 200 coins for this one. Hey! Okay, how much do we know about Barnaby? 
He is best known for being tough. Being an Animagus would be uh, Talbot, one that we're doing a side quest for right now. And being smart would be, oh gosh, smart? Probably Rowan, I'm assuming. But he's tough. He likes to duel. We've dueled him a couple times and completely trounced him. Because we're badass. All right, ask the tough questions. Come on. That's not a tough question. Who is he friends with before? It's either Ismelda or Merola. Both are correct. He left them because we basically said, dude, they're mistreating you. Why are you supporting them? The answer was he was supporting Merola simply because Merola promised him power, which he wants to be the most powerful wizard in his year, so I get it, but same time, how can you trust someone like Merola to actually deliver? Girl's got some issues. We're, tr we're trying to pick her apart bit by bit. We'll get there. We'll eventually get there. All right, so that takes care of the friendship stuff. We can also go up to our beasties. Um, I only have 19 feet over here, so I'm not sure how far that'll get me. I might be able to feed all of my creatures once. And then I'll have to actually take classes to get more, more feed. But you can now feed your creatures once you have maxed them out. Once they are max level, you can feed them. And uh, you get an option just like when you finish a section of a class. When you get a, to a star in a class and it gives you the three prize options. That's what happens now. So sometimes you get super lucky. Um, I did get lucky last week, I believe, and it awarded me notebooks, which I had never seen before. So it apparently is a super rare thing, but you can actually get notebooks out of this. So worth trying. All right. He's so cute. Om nom. Sweet Porlock. I keep hoping that I'll get one that either has energy, because I want energy right now. Um, or, hopefully, get more notebooks. I do have one thing I'm going to purchase with my notebooks on this stream. Bum bum bum. Three guesses what it is. Three guesses. Alright, um, what am I doing? Getting ahead of myself, that's what I'm doing. More creatures! I find it hilarious, like endlessly amusing, that we have a pixie, like a fairy right here, and then right next to it is a bow truckle, and bow truckles eat fairy eggs. I guess they would be sharing an ecosystem, but I'm pretty sure the fairy would be like really, really defensive and unhappy about having a bow truckle that close. Let's feed our pretty little fairy. Num num num. num. Ooh, a thousand coins. It's always tempting when a thousand coins pops up, but it's really not worth it. There's nothing to spend them on other than dueling club and, uh, and friendship exercises. Um, and the occasional duel within plot elements does take coins there as well. But you get coins from everything in the game, so you really don't need it. Alright, gotta wait for the shing sound, and then we can exit out. Over to the bow truckle. Let's feed our bow truckle. I do find it amusing as well that we're using the same food <laughs> for all of the magical creatures in our care. Not realistic at all. Ooh, 40. I'll take a 40. All right. I believe I have one more beastie. Because I do have an Acromantula maxed out. I'm saving up my notebooks at the moment. Um, eventually, I will either be getting the Thestral, um, but trying trying to get 15 of those blue notebooks, I have not been really grinding the game, so I haven't been getting the really nice prizes when you work really hard in the various events. I have not been doing that. See, example, 90. <laughs> 90 stars would get me two. I have not been grinding enough to get 15. Now, occasionally they'll pop up as specials, like in here. There's there's one over there that has three of them. But I'm not paying 30 bucks into the game. It's just not worth it for me. Sorry. 
All right, so let's feed our Acromantula. See what prizes we can get out of this. Fingers crossed it's a good one. I do love that we bef befriend a giant spider. This would never happen for me. Ooh, gems. Even though it's one versus a 40, 40 attribute, I'm gonna take the gems. I haven't been playing enough to, to pass up gems. <laughs> all right, that is all I have as far as the beasts go. But just to show you guys, uh, the lake area is now open and we do have a couple beasties that are available in there, but you can't really get them yet unless you have adopted a bunch of others. If you've been really good about adopting your creatures, then you might have a chance, but you have to be Magizoologist level six. And that's a pretty high level. Um, I'm only level four, I think. Yeah, level four up there. And I'm only about halfway through level four. I have to get a couple more beasts before I can even get level five creatures. So here's a Plimpy. It's, it's very shifty. <laughs> Poor little creature. And then we do have our Grindelo as well. Which looks pretty badass. And see, this one costs less than the Thestral, because the Thestral also had 15 of those blue notebooks, but it's only 50 here versus 75 for the Thestral. But because this is a Magizoologist level 6, we can't get it. We have to wait. I dislike waiting. But that's the whole point. I dislike waiting. I will hopefully spend money on the game in order to shortcut things, right? Microtransactions. Are we surprised? I'm I'm not surprised. Look how gorgeous these painted landscapes are though. Ugh, I love the lake area. Now to my knowledge, the other ones still aren't open. Am I wrong? Yeah, the Rocky Mountains and the Volcanic Pasture are still closed. Still locked. That's okay. All right, so let's see. We weren't able to get any extra energy, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, I did show you the new, new dueling system. Let's take a look at my plot. I have to talk to uh, Kettleburn at the moment down at the Care of Magical Creatures. He's having me look after some bow truckles, which I thought would be really cute, but I just I don't have the energy. Um, might buy some energy just to have a bit more fun in the game with you guys. It's the only time I actually use my gems is during live streams. And the only other thing that I knew I wanted to do, let's get to... Oh, let's just go to the dungeon, I guess. We can, we can chill in my dormitory for this. So the only other thing I really wanted to do was down in the pet area, if you go to the owl, there is currently a special one. Look how gorgeous it is! So you not only get the owl, this really beautiful owl, but you get the special perch that it's on. So this is one of those things that I have been eyeing and I really like it with the little sakura, the little cherry blossom perch. It's so cute. I wish that the perch was, you know, divorceable from the owl because I've been trying to save up for, for the barn owl because it's gorgeous. And as you can see, I named my owl Jareth after the labyrinth because I'm a child of the 80s. But I really, really love that perch. So I am going to be spending 20 of my 36 brown notebooks. Um, to my knowledge, you don't really use the brown notebooks much. Most of the beasts are the red and blue notebooks. So I'm, I'm going to spend them. I'm going to spend them. Because it's so pretty. Okay. So that should now be showing up. And uh, I do have the option of spending a little bit more. I do have enough to get this other nasal color, which is kind of cool. I prefer the warmer tones on the nasal. But let's see, I know I, I don't have enough for a crop. And I know for a short period of time we had the opportunity to get a crop puppy. Is that still a, an option? It is. Okay, it's just 120 notebooks. Good luck. Good luck with that. Um, and there is a puff scheme now. Which is kind of cute. A little poof. A little poof. It's, it's pretty cute, gotta, gotta say. And I wonder once you get that if you open up other options on sort of this, this drop-down menu, but 
I don't have one, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't have really a desire for the for the other pets. And I'm like, dude, that little baby crop, the little tiny puppy over there, if it's 120 notebooks, that thing should be refreshing your energy like every hour. That's a lot of notebooks, okay? But I highly doubt that that's the case, so. Oh, well. I do have a, a gorgeous, gorgeous seal point cat skin that I can unlock. I named, I named mine Didymus. <laughs> I used a lot of labyrinth names <laughs> originally, but I've, I've been using the, uh, the pumpkin boy here because, uh, during, I believe it was last Halloween, we had the option of getting this little skin for our cat. It's a black kitty, but it has a little green collar that has a pumpkin on it. And I thought it was super cute. So I've been using that one, but ooh, option. I've been trying to collect these things. It does give us 140 points for uh, for our courage stat. What does the one for the Neasel do? Nothing. It does nothing. Well, I guess what we're going to do then is get the skin for the kitty. 140 points. I like being able to do the things that will up our points. And I find it so strange that the ones that take that many gems don't really boost up your points. It feels like they should, but they don't. Pretty. Except. Oh, I love it. I love that perch. That's that's a cute perch right there. I really like that with the cherry blossoms. And our, our Siamese sort of uh, seal point, maybe Himalayan? Himalayan, probably. Himalayan kitty. I'm loving it. I don't have any of the other beasties. I don't have a spider. Because I think that's what was here, right? Oh no, the snail. Okay, my bad. But yeah, I would say you can get the you can get the snail. I know during Halloween you were able to get a uh, a tiny little spider, and that one was limited edition. You were not able to do it any other time. So we'll see if that one comes back into the game at any point. But at this point, it's grayed out. You can't actually buy it. Alrighty, taking a look at the actual challenge that's going on, which I haven't touched. I have been playing, but I have not been taking classes. So, exclusive rewards. You do get a little raincoat that looks like it's raining, which is kind of cool, but... I'm ambivalent. <laughs> the notebooks are pretty good. It would be super, super easy to get 50 points in four days. I guess it was five days when I started it. Totally doable. You can totally get to 90 within this time limit if, if you're just taking those one hour classes over and over and over again you can grind and get that done but it takes some time some devotion coming back to the game over and over again alrighty what else do we have so I did buy my little owl in the perch that was definitely on my little my little list so we can either start the next part of the flying solo side quest, um, or we do have these other things. I do have one more task in my side quest for trying to learn my, my best profession. And I saved this because <laughs> Snape always amuses me. He never fails to amuse. Snape is snarky. Snape has, you know, a, a silver tongue. He can definitely give you a tongue lashing. And uh, I, I just, I love him as a character in this game. He is so funny. So we do have the option of asking Snape about potion making, and it is one of the last, it's task six, six of seven. Um, task seven is probably relatively simple, but it will be one of the last tasks of that side quest. So that's an option, and that one's just to win a bunch of duels. So we do have the side quest with Snape. We do have the keeping an eagle eye out, which is part of the, uh, the flying solo one. So we're supposed to talk to Talbot. Not sure if that'll be a task or if it'll just be one of those conversation things. We'll check that out. And then I do have the main plot with the bow truckles. So there's a lot going on right now in my game, but as per usual, really the, the limited time stuff should take precedence. You don't have as much time to complete it in. All right, you're still here. Appreciate that you're so concerned about me, but I'm busy. 
I'm busy looking for your necklace. He's gonna be like, how did you know? Who told you? See, a little birdie. See, that's calling back from the last time because uh, we asked him something and he said, a little birdie told me. Hardy har, because I'm a, I'm a bird animagus. I'm gonna say it just because it's snarky. Little birdie told me. <laughs> Gosh, the snark. Okay. Yeah, I suppose I deserve that. Yeah. Tit for tat, my friend. Consider yourself lucky that a sarcastic remark is all you're getting. Ooh, we're giving it to him. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, no, he's being snarky again. Yes, ma'am. Don't give us that look. Don't you give us that look. Rein it in. My point is just let me help you already. We, we are trying a little bit too hard to help this guy, but we're, we are trying. I don't have any reason to not trust you. This is true. We've definitely proven ourselves as far as being a friend is concerned. Plus, it's not like keeping this to myself has gotten me any closer to finding my necklace. I'll take you up on your offer to help, but we're still not friends. He keeps insisting that. Obviously, if we complete the whole the whole side quest, we do get his friendship. So, goals. Friendship goals. You made a smart choice. I was beginning to question the Sorting's Hat decision to put you in Ravenclaw. Gosh, look at that mean face. She's like, hey. Ha ha. He is unamused. This necklace must be pretty important for you to be so upset about it going missing. Oh, we're gonna get an explanation? Ooh, a gift from his mom. She made one for my dad and one for me not long before we were they were killed. Ouch. Definitely sentimental value for sure. She was a swan animagus. Oh, when she made it from her own feathers. Ah, God. Uh, tears. So many tears. Oh, man. Every character in here has a tragic backstory, my friends. It's one of the only things I have left of her. Yeah, I'd be really upset if I lost that, too. For sure. Yeah, I can see why you're upset. It's my fault. I thought it would be safe if I always kept it under my robes, but the class must have come loose. The time I noticed it was long gone. Allery, the Forbidden Forest, the Training Grounds, and the Ravenclaw dorm, but no luck. Where else would you have been? Just gonna check the courtyard again, and we're gonna help him search. So this is definitely a task that takes energy. It's not gonna be a conversation task. Three hours, we have 14 energy. It would take me two hours to refill my counter there, so eh, I'd be pushing it. I'd be pushing it if I started that now. Let's see what the other tasks are like and see if we can do something from the side quest. Let's go down to Snape. Ask Snape about potion making. Hmm. Weasley's there. Not sure why. Bill Weasley. I started this side quest so long ago, I don't remember exactly why Bill's there with us. I think he was just trying to take us around to different professors and figure out what we wanted to do. Ah, uh, he's not the friendliest professor, but it's worth a try. Non-leaping toadstool. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that jogs my memory a little bit. Bill was in the, uh, the herbology greenhouses with us, and he was basically tasked with uh, teaching us how to make a leaping toadstool, and he failed. <laughs> Despite his efforts, he failed. So, actually, this is not for our career advice, it's for Bill Weasley's career advice. Completely forgot about that. It's been a while. And so him failing to teach us meant that he probably didn't have too much of a, an aptitude for herbology. Nah, I should have been a better teacher. Hey, hey, buck up. It's gonna be fine. We'll sort out your career. We already know he's gonna become a curse breaker. Oh lordy, here we go. What do you want? I'm very busy. Bill was thinking about his future career. He thought he could become a potioner one day. 
And I'm helping him do that. I'm not helping. I'm not helping by being present. Your interest is misplaced. Potioneers excel at following instructions and not being nuisances. Yeah, you tell him, Snape. <laughs> Unfortunately, you and Mr. Weasley fail at doing both. Yeah, he's not a number one, not a fan of Gryffindors. <laughs> number two, definitely not a fan of ours. Uh. Aren't you supposed to be encouraging us? Like, come on, man. What you do with your miserable lives after you leave these halls is a little concern to me. He's so pessimistic. Come on, Snape. Someone's got to be awesome at potions. Can't just be you. But if it will stop you from pestering me, I can give both of you an assignment that will test your natural ability. Cool. Use your time in my classroom to create a unique and original potion. Ooh, creative potions. It's like creative writing class, except potions. I would love this sort of thing. This is what I do with my aromatherapy. <laughs> I come up with my own stuff. What potion should we make? A contortion potion, a screaming potion, or a stamina potion? Stamina potion makes the most sense. And because it takes knowledge to do it, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Stamina potion. Unlimited energy. Can, can we get that in this game? Unlimited energy. I would take, like, an eight-hour class if it then gave me unlimited energy for, like, half an hour in this game. I am not lying. I would totally devote some time to doing that if it meant that I had unlimited energy for a limited amount of time in this game. Like, give me 15 minutes even. Unlimited energy. Anything that I can get done, no energy restriction, would be amazing. I would totally take it. We'd never need to sleep. Let's do it. Okay, so... This is a three-hour class, but it only takes one star to pass, so I think I'll start this one, and then we'll call the stream ended. We've, we've been on for a fair, fair while, so let's start this task. Okay. Ooh, we have some interesting stuff sitting there. Loving it. Okay. Mix ingredients, discuss, and check the ingredients. Let's check the ingredients first. Hope these ingredients work, I say. And read label. Okay, so then let's mix the ingredients. As per usual with these, you want to go with as many of the five energy tasks as possible, because doing so gives you one extra energy toward your star for free. Now, what are the ratios, he, he asked. Or was that me? I didn't see. We can listen, or we can read the label. Let's, let's listen. Let's see what he's got to say here. We've only got four energy. Perhaps we should stir more and read the label. I don't know what these words mean. <laughs> That's not a good sign, honey. And in 20 seconds, I'd be able to do that one energy task as well. Um, should I buy some energy? I, I always debate. Should I buy some energy? If I was going to buy energy, I should have done the three hour task that, you know, was going to actually need five stars to pass, but I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Because if I do the large amount of energy with the gems, we could get some more stuff done in this stream. And that could be fun. Oh, heck. I rarely do it. Let's just do it. Lionfish spines. Wonder why lionfish would be used in a stamina potion. That's interesting. Lionfish are poisonous. For those who don't know. Okay, we can get 60 energy. That's quite a lot of energy. Let's do it. Why not? All right, you can sniff the ingredients here. Again, as many five-star tasks as possible. Snape's gonna chat with us. So your banter is unnecessary. <laughs> He's like, shut up and do the potion. Do the thing. Needs more heat. Ooh, ask a question of Snape. I don't think he's gonna tell us anything. I'm not answering questions, you're on your own. Called it! 
<laughs> totally called it. And now we've cycled back through. So we'll see what we can do here. I'll have to do the two here, but that should leave a five to fill pretty soon. Okay. Where are we at? There we go. And we still have over 20 energy left. Good stuff. Okay. How'd we do? How'd we do, Snape? What did you come up with? We prepared a stamina potion. Or so you claim. Drinking the potion is the only way to measure your success. I'm excited. If this has an actual consequence in the game, which I highly doubt, if it does though, if, I, I'd be so happy. I'd be so happy. I've made myself very clear. He wants us to poison ourselves, basically. He is like, please die, please. Which one of us should drink the potion? I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bring it on. Give me that potion. Give me that potion. Let's do it. I'm game. I'm confident in your potion, I say. I'm not going to drink this. This is essential oils. Don't drink those. <laughs> this is actually my draught of living death potion <laughs> that I made out of essential oils. <laughs> Link in description. <laughs> Shameless self-promotion. Uh-oh. <laughs> she looks sick. Oh no, potion fail. I was really hoping. Hopefully it doesn't do something like drain my energy. I didn't even think about that. It's obvious that neither of you have the natural ability to be a potioner. Hey, hey now, this is what I do. You don't know anything, Snape. The effects of your ill-conceived potion will wear off in a couple hours. Oh God. Perhaps we should get out of here before make Snape makes us clean the whole classroom. He would, too. Let's get gone. Head to the Great Hall. Discuss your career options. We already know he's going to choose being an Oath... Uh, not Oathbreaker. Oh, gosh. Um, uh, Spellbreaker. Cursebreaker. Meet with Bill. Let's see. We'll see what happens here. Um, not sure that we shall continue with this side quest. I would rather go back to the limited time one. Just to, you know, we have 30 energy. I might as well use them. <laughs> I always eat the same sandwich. That is so poking fun because anytime you have a meal in here, it's a sandwich. <laughs> I always eat the same sandwich. Yeah, so do the rest of us, Penny. <laughs> you must have mistaken me for someone who speaks to losers. Classic Marilla. <laughs> and Rowan's in the back. I plan to become Hogwarts' youngest professor. She's got the smarts. She's got the book knowledge. Doesn't really have a lot of leadership skill, though. So, be a challenge. Alright, Bill, what we got here? If we're sitting down, it might be just another one of those conversation tasks. Now that we've explored a wide range of careers, have you chosen an alternative? I can't say that I have a second choice right now, but I think I can definitely cross some careers off my list, which is important if you're trying to, you know, process of elimination, that, that stuff. Yay, that's the spirit. <laughs> Originally, I wasn't sure about picking an alternative career. I didn't want to fail. Bill, you're gonna be fine. A little bit of failure can be a good thing. Don't be afraid of failure. This is a life lesson. Don't be afraid of failure. Failure teaches you a lot. It'll teach you what you can and can't handle. It'll teach you where you need to focus your energy. It's it's not necessarily a bad thing. It it feels terrible, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. PSA. Failure is part of life. And it can ultimately be a good thing. If anything, this whole experience has made me even more motivated to become a curse breaker. See? There we go. And you will be! And we're right! Because canon! Can't believe you got me to do all that career building stuff. Yeah, I can't believe it either, dude. What was your favorite part? Conversation? Oh no, it's an eight hour task. Nope. 
eight hour tasks are the things that you start like eight hours where it only takes one star to complete. Those are the things you start when you're going to bed. <laughs> it's an eight hour task. You can let it time itself out while you're sleeping. I'm not starting that. I'm not starting that one. But let's go back to, oops, wrong one. Let's go back to the Talbot one in the courtyard. That's right. And let's talk to him. Okie dokie. So we're going to help him search for that necklace. And we'll see how far we get. I don't have enough energy to completely complete this task, but that's okay. I can always spend more money. <laughs> and and again, that's what Jam City is counting on. Unfortunately, that's how this game is going to make its money. You you either get impatient and you purchase stuff, or you wait like a good little boy or girl. Good little person. All right. Oh, I should see my mom in her swan form. She was beautiful. I'm sure she was. Swans are beautiful. They're kind of vicious, but they're beautiful. Swans are not not the nicest bird. <laughs> I think the duality of them is why Swan Lake is the way it is, if anyone's familiar with the traditional ballet and the traditional story of Swan Lake. There is a white swan and a black swan. And the black swan is pretty dark. I'm not just talking color. All right, let's ask for details. Pretty distinctive white feather. You can't miss it. Ben Copper tried to feed me bird seed when I was an an in my Animagus form once. He's like... Gosh, if, if he transformed in front of Ben, Ben would be scarred for life. Scarred for life. It'd be funny, though. <laughs> I'll check over here, he says, and I think we're cycled back to the beginning. Found plenty of knuts, but no necklace. And yes, it is knuts. It's not nuts. The K is not silent. This has been discussed on Pottermore. So we've all been saying it wrong. It's knuts. Shout out to Slitherwin, because I know Slitherwin in his video during the, the Follow the Niffler thing that we did, I'll, I'll put a link up to the playlist. He, he said knuts, and I was like, proud of you. Okay, I think we're out of energy now. <laughs> Does Hogwarts have a lost and found? Alright, we're pretty much out of energy. Let's see if we manage to get... Yeah, no. I don't know what the rules are for when you actually get that little pop-up where you can watch an ad and get three extra energy. That hasn't happened for me in the game for, like, a long time. I know it still happens for people, but I wish I knew the rules behind it. Like, what do I need to do in the game to trigger that? It'd be nice to get those three extra energy every so often. But I haven't been, so... Oh well. But here we are, and, uh... I was say, I've got another three hours to complete this task, which is plenty of time for me to re-up my counter. Take me about two hours to re-up it from, from zero to three. And, uh, yeah. I say, 30 energy in two hours. And I should be able to come back and finish off this task. Continue along the path of whatever the flying solo thing is all about. But figuring out what's, what's bugging him and, and helping him out to the point where he actually accepts us as a friend. So that'll be fun. But in the meantime, nothing else really going on here. <laughs> I hope everybody's been enjoying this. I didn't see anybody in chat. I, I could have been missing stuff, though, because this particular app on my phone, it does not show chat. I need to figure that out, obviously. So, oh, of course, there has been chat. Now that I'm looking down at my computer, there has been chat this entire time. I am terrible. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't even think to check. I was like, oh, yeah, it's an odd time for me to live stream. No one's going to be here. I'm just so used to the chat popping up on my on my screen of my phone that I didn't even think to check my live stream feed. So y'all are awesome. Who's been in chat? Let me give some shouts out. Wizard PhD. Hello, Lynette. I did shout you out earlier in the stream. Hopefully you were there for that. I love you. Yeah, rip energy. No kidding. No kidding. 
And uh, Mark Zealman's in chat. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining my chat. Oh, Snark Life. Hey, Zoe. I think she she checked out, but oh, thank you, Zoe, for joining the stream for a bit. I uh, I feel terrible that I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, and Nicole Rain, thank you for being here. The Global Network, Ravenclaw Pride, yes. Nothing wrong with Ravenclaws. I love me some smarts. Oh, lower expectations from, from Tayhawk. Thanks for being in the stream, Tayhawk. Always fun to see you in chat. Oh man, good stuff. You guys are amazing. And Feel Me Once was even in here. Gosh. Love you guys. Thanks for coming to my stream. I I feel silly that I didn't check my computer this whole time. <laughs> I was just like, I'm just gonna talk and stuff will pop up, right? No, nope, no, nope, not with this app. I'll try and fix that for the next stream so you guys can see that there is actual chat going on. That or I will simply really pay attention to my cross screen here. And uh, make sure that I acknowledge you guys when, you, when you're saying stuff to me. I apologize. <laughs> There's a learning curve. This is why I'm doing this now instead of just tossing myself head first into the pool, you know, when, when Wizards Unite comes out, which I will be streaming. Oh man, I cannot wait. I do plan on streaming hopefully at least twice a week. Um, when the game first launches, I might be able to do it more frequently than that. It will all depend on my work schedule and just when I can manage to get the free time out of my house. Because there's nothing in my immediate area. I will have to drive a good half hour to get anywhere worth playing in. Um, I'll probably take a look at what it is, rural versus city, which will be kind of fun. But um, I don't expect there to be much in my area, like in my local area near where I live. Um, that and just for safety reasons. I'm going to take it away from the house and see what I can do, you know, in my little suburban area versus going into the city. Because Ebor, the city of Ebor in Florida, chock full of Pokestops and gyms. Chock full. So there's bound to be a lot of stuff to do in that area in Wizards Unite. And I cannot wait, cannot wait to explore. But uh, as far as Wizards Unite news goes, we got an email and the email was basically just, you know, saying welcome to the task force and it dropped a couple more numbers because Niantic loves throwing numbers at us without explanation. And it basically said that they were getting traces, you know, three dozen traces just this morning. And so there was a whole lot of speculation. If you are curious about all of the crazy theories that we were trying to decode out of this, I will leave a link up there for Zoe's live stream. Zoe from Snitches and Witches did at least a two hour live stream last night. I had to bow out after about an hour and a half, but uh, they discussed everything, every possible theory and all of the fun stuff having to do with the numbers and the strange wording in the email. She is like the mistress of dish and it was a great live stream. It's definitely worth rewatching. If you missed it, I'll put a link to it up there for you guys. But that's pretty much the end of this. I mean, we can tap one more energy. Congratulations, Chris. But there's really not much more for me to handle in this game. So, unfortunately, I think that's going to be about it for me today. But a little proud moment is getting our, our gorgeous little owl there with its, with its Sakura Blossom tree. I love it. I love it. And we did get to see McGonagall with a bunch of cats. <laughs> I might change the title of the stream away from McConaughey being a uh, a crazy cat lady to something having to do with the, the limited time side quest, but she is a crazy cat lady, and I'm a crazy cat lady, and, you know, crazy cat ladies unite. Where's my hashtag? Oh, Mark is saying that this is a good live stream time for him. Yeah, yeah, early afternoon is like a nice evening time over in the UK, so I'm not surprised there at all. I am going to try and be varying up my live stream times because I want everybody to be able to tune in at least occasionally. So the, the plan, the plan tentatively is to do a late night Wednesday live stream because my work shift on Thursday starts pretty late, starts at like noon. So it allows me to be out late at night and still get a full night's sleep before going to work. So I might be doing a witching hour Wednesday kind of live stream uh, once Wizards Unite drops because I can do 
a nighttime sort of thing. It'll also allow me to hopefully, depending on the timing, be out during different moon phases so that I can get different confoundables and all of that fun stuff, because we do know that lunar phase is going to play some sort of role in uh, what confoundables you can and cannot find. So I'm going to be trying to do some nighttime streams on Wednesday nights, Wednesday into Thursday. Um, and then certainly one over the weekend. It'll either be a Friday or Saturday sort of stream. I do work on Sunday, so that's not an option for me. But certainly Friday or Saturday. So hopefully at least two live streams a week. When the game first drops, there might be more. It just depends on what time I can get free from my house. But I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. So thank you everybody for joining me. Get all moody on my bed. But I'm going to go make sure that my cats are taken care of and that my partner doesn't need any of my help because she should be waking up and, and getting going around this time. So everybody take care and I will see you on the next stream. Thank you guys for joining me. I will pay much closer attention to my computer next time so I see that there actually are people watching. You guys are awesome and I will see you next time. So until then, take care and Knox.